They were both naked? Well, who was driving the tractor? Uh, I'm going to need a diagram. Oh, I got to go. Hi, Randy here of the Valentine Goose channel, also known as Star Thinker. Um, I've been really evil lately. Um, I don't know if you know this. I think I've mentioned this uh, in a couple of my past videos. Uh, I'm bipolar. So I go through periods where I'm greatly, deeply depressed, and I go through periods where I'm manic, and I have energy, and I want to do everything. And um, sometimes uh, this makes me act out of the norm. Uh, you know, it makes me do things I wouldn't normally do. Um, and I know a lot of people are like, oh, I'm bipolar, I get depressed and I get happy. But no, there's a clinical, there's a clinical definition of bipolarism. And um, uh, I don't take medication for this because we've tried at least seven or eight different kind of medications and they've all made it worse. So it's, it's very hard to deal with and um, so I've been dealing with it without medication. But uh, again, it makes me do things <laughs> I wouldn't normally do. Um, and tonight I did that. I did something really evil. And uh, so, yeah, uh, to quote Buster Scrubs, I'm not a deviant man by nature, but when you're unarmed, your tactics got to be downright Archimedean. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I, I don't know where to begin. I was just laughing my ass off earlier. <laughs> uh, I have a friend and I was kind of doing a play-by-play -play with my friend and, and she's like you should be a magician you should just you've you've mastered the art of misdirection you've mastered the art of uh, doing one thing while something else is going on in the background and I think that's the most important takeaway here <laughs> um, I also want to say that if you're kind of soft-spoken and you don't speak up too much and uh, you offer suggestion and people move on kind of without listening uh, you might be the one closest to the truth <laughs> anyway oh I laughed so hard I moved my phone um, anyway yeah uh, that is the one thing I, I that was my one takeaway uh, from tonight uh, I just felt like Tom Sawyer watching his own funeral. I, I don't like the limelight. You know, our schools put on plays, like big production plays, once a year. And I love doing that. I did that for um, four, five, six years in a row. And uh, I never wanted to be on stage. I never wanted to be in the limelight. Uh, I became a master of this, We, you know, it's... A real modern fancy lighting panel and um, how to choreograph the backdrops because you have to be able to switch between scenes and so the scenes have to be lined up in a certain order and if you reuse things and, and how to um, do back masking and and the light the mainly the lights because the lights are logical I'm a very logical person I'm just like there are people who just don't understand like hey you turn this light on to, to highlight this area and this light on to highlight you don't just turn them all on or all off um, but I loved being behind the scenes I loved it um, and this is easy for me because I'm sitting here alone and it's like there's no nobody judging me I'm just talking to myself basically and this is probably what the inside of my head sounds like when I'm talking to myself but uh yeah, I was doing the play-by-play -play in, a, in a chat room with my friend, and <laughs> they're just like, you should be a magician, or at least a spy, or something. You just, you know, it's like, when you're pointing this way, and meanwhile, this hand is doing something, you know. Uh, but some people got really close to what the actual thing should be, and then some people got further away, and then I couldn't stand it anymore, and I, I left the chat room. I um, also want to say if you know Morse code, if you just listen to it, it's like listening to someone say letters. So <laughs> that's another thing. Um, but uh, I would also like to point out that this is a vintage 
18 karat gold side L from Switzerland. And yes, you have to push a button to see the time on it. <laughs> because I'm into vintage stuff. I love antiques. And you know, the very first digital watches, and if you look really close, there you go. Um, the very first digital watches were the red LED watches that came out when you pushed a button. And if you pushed a button twice, you get the date. It is the 22nd, right? Yep. So, um, yeah, there's no stopwatch on here. It's very simple. It's two functions, basically. Um, and it came all the way from Switzerland. Because, uh, you know, I've tried to find old Timexes. The old Timexes is what the digital... But they, they go for several hundred dollars each. And I found this on eBay. It was miss... You know, if you look for things that are, aren't listed correctly, you get things that people aren't bidding on because they can't find them. So I found this as a missed listing. Uh, and very, like only two or three people bid on it. And uh, so I got it. It took, I don't know how, it took, uh, I think two months I waited for it because it had to come from Switzerland and it had to go through customs. And that was right at the very height of the very first, you know, the COVID outbreak when Europe started getting locked down and stuff. So that was interesting. And uh, yeah. I was told I should contact Penn and Teller and uh, design some tricks for them. <laughs> uh, but anyway, this is just a reaction video, and uh, yeah, I don't normally do things like this. So what I did, if you haven't figured it out already, I did sneak into the uh, Beacon Star Zoom tonight because they were discussing the recent video clue, and yes, the clue is, I think. To me, it's major because um, I've I've been you know I don't the only things I've seen are public. So I've seen the forums on Hint of Riches and the forums on Mysterious Writings. Um, they don't have much activity, so and I'm not selling very many copies of my books. I don't think there's many people working on it. Um, but there, you know, on Mysterious Writings, there's a couple articles and there's a lot of things that are just wrong and uh a lot of people ask me like how are you so confident that no one's close to solving this and i'm like because <laughs> of the number of things that i see posted on the web and this is going to tell you just how that is you know what what is it about the number of things posted on the web and the milestone I hit and it's a very small milestone is it's one that I'm surprised it took me years and years and years um, but through the publishing house I'm with I, I get royalty checks once a month and the royalty checks are um, like three months behind so this month I'll get a royalty check for whatever was sold three months ago and when Forrest Fenn's Hunt finished, there was a little bit of a surge in, in sales on my book. Um, and plus, some of the challenges went out. Um, you know, if I sold a certain number of copies or if I uh, had a certain number of reviews. And because of that little surge, um, I got a royalty check that was big enough to take the entire family out to a fancy dinner. <laughs> that was it. And then we did... Uh, Oh, uh, we went out for ribs and it was just so delicious and I treated everyone and I paid for it and it was all from a royalty check. So that was, if you're wondering, because people are like, oh, why won't he tell the miles? That was it. That was a very simple milestone. And these are the type of milestones I set for myself, you know, number of books, number, you know, anniversaries. Uh, there's just some, and they're private to me. There's nothing public about them. Um, but they're, they're just private little milestones and I thought, now, hey, if I ever hit this milestone, I'll, I'll tell people this part of the book or this part of the clue or this part of something. And um, the hint I gave was, yeah, there's people, I've, I've seen this, I never, no one has a directed a question to me specifically about it, but there, people keep saying there's a typo in, in a numbering system. And I just was kind of pointing out that it might not be a typo, <laughs> it might be something else. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm not normally that evil and I probably won't do it again. Uh, I'm sure they figured out who I was <laughs> once I left. <laughs> oh dear Lord. Um, 
So that's it. I'm here at work. This is just a very short, quick video to uh, say, hey, you you guys like would get close and then you would like deviate away and then get close and then deviate away and and there were some things I don't recall doing that were in the video and, and you you did spend a little bit of time on those things and I'm like. I don't recall doing that, but it's so funny that it's in there. So I, you know, the unintentional red herring, basically. But yeah, uh, that that's this is my reaction video, and I'm I'm glad I didn't record like my actual reaction because just watching, oh, it's just like I don't like I said I don't like the limelight and watching people talk about me and like watching my video and stuff just it it really soured my stomach. So I. <laughs> won't do that again um if i do it'll probably be another pun um but uh <laughs> it was just a lot of fun tonight this was this is way out of my comfort zone and i don't i don't even know why i did it um i just saw the email go out because uh, i was watching i've been watching the emails uh for watching the uh, zooms for uh uh, Vegas die and uh, my book hasn't come yet and I don't know if I'll get seriously into it but uh, I've been watching the zooms for that just kind of watching to see uh, what what type of things going on there but um, it's very interesting <laughs> and like wow uh, but that's all I got uh, I'm checking my side L Boop. oh yeah it's getting close to time for me to go to work uh, I came in way early tonight just just for this. So uh, I did have a malt, and I'm not supposed to have malts, and so my stomach is paying for that right now. But anyway, lots of fun. And uh, if you were part of that Zoom and you're watching this video now, uh, maybe some things will click for you. Um, I didn't plan on it to be hard enough, like it would take years to solve, just because it's just a clue video. But um, yeah, I think uh, some people might find this clue and just throw their hands up in the air and go well just f this um i, I do believe that and i think my sales will might take a hit <laughs> so anyway um yeah my my alarms are going off it's a quarter two and i i have a quarter two uh duties i gotta do but anyway have fun this was a lot of fun tonight. I don't normally do this. I wish someone was live. If someone had gone live tonight like they were supposed to go, I wouldn't have been in the Zoom. Um, so I remember that, too. Um, and I know they're going through some hard stuff. So uh, uh, trust me, I've been there. Uh, and you'll come out the other side stronger than ever. Anyway, I'll talk to you later.